Look at that, boys. I can barely get it all in one shot. We're back, baby. We're back. Bottom fishing, Northeast Florida, muttons, mangoes, gropas on the real dream. Big razor cat quads. This boat is actually made in Louisiana. I brought the way all the way here to Jacksonville. Custom house, one of the coolest, most unique boats. Really, in, I think, in the Atlantic part of the world. I mean, this thing's a fishing machine. Adam has proven himself. Really cool story with him. Moved down from Chicago because he wanted to start fishing. Started in a little boat, got a bigger boat, and the bigger boat turned into this bigger boat through success. And uh, made his name on Big Gag Grouper. So we might see one of them today. But I miss my muttons. You know how I love my muttons. We're hoping to get one or two or three or four or five today. I'm very excited. Oh, well, Cole, you gotta, you gotta make sure you're on the boat before you cast this off, bud. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. <laughs> it's a little windy, but that's why we got the house. We're gonna be nice and warm and dry in here. It's very close for us, 36, so it's 36 on the way here. That plus wind chill plus being wet is not fun, but it don't matter. We're gonna be nice and warm. Got his license, so he gets to pull rank on you. <laughs> that's fine by me. I'm gonna pass my ass. for you to get your license. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Instead of, he's like, no, I'm not getting my license. I get to sleep on the way out now? Heck that, yeah. That can't ride outside until you get your license. <laughs> Passed out, you're going to be numb. <laughs> you're going to be dead. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, boy, yo, 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 yoys. I tell you what, I'm in love with this boat now. You know what's super nice? Not having to deal with spray and wind and cold. Again, 36 degrees when we left the dock this morning. Um, it got hot in there. I had to take, I'm sh I shed layers. I shed layers today because of that thing. Very, very good design. Wow. Chef's kiss from the Razor Cat, Razor uh, Head folks. But we're gonna start this day off with uh, uh, some stringer fish, some trigger fish right here. So we're gonna get some of those going later in the day. We we're gonna do some muttons, gags, etc. But right now, we're going for tastiest thing in the entire ocean. Oh, we got them on right now. We got, oh, we got them on. Fire them down, boy. Trigger fish rodeo. Come on, Jack. Go put 60 of them on the boat. 60 real 60, quick. Real quick. Morning bite, 60. Yes. I got a funny feeling it's gonna be a lot of this today. Jack reeling in and everybody else watching Jack reel in. That'd be awesome. Funny I'm feeling. You think you can bring out 60? Let's see what we got. Oh, a trigger, a trigger. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Yes, sir. Some of the base, the, some of the best tasting fish in the entire ocean propel themselves with these top and bottom fins right here. Don't really use the tail. Uh, got some mean chompers. One day, like my, my goal in life is to never get bitten by one of these things. These things literally take chunks out of you. What are you gonna do? You gonna show you how to do the trigger? I'll show you the trigger. Oh, show me the trigger trick. Will you, Adam? So you go to back one down and it won't let you. See, you push as hard as you want and it's not gonna go down. You push the little one down and it's the trigger. That's it pretty brings, cool. Brings the front one down. And that's why she's called a trigger fish. That's a mean chomper. Legitimately will take chunks out of you. Get it done, Jack. Again? I'm loving Jack. Put a fish beside him. There you go, little one. He might make it. He might be going back. There we go. Another one in the box, baby. Nicely done, Jack. Someone's catching them. Adam, real quick, show me what you're working with. This is the exact same type of rig I like to use. So we got uh, a little dropper loop at the bottom here. And we'll slip our weight on there. Just like that. And we got a three-way swivel with a little dropper line to a hook. And same thing, and the third one. And then put a little piece of squid on each one, send it down. That's right. Trigger fish on. Pretty much easy enough. Some people like to use two uh, 
double rigs some some people like to use double rigs i like to personally use triple rigs this uh especially on charge just because you know catching trigger fish is fun but it doesn't need to happen all day you know so get trigger fish and beeliners done fast so fun fish can be caught isn't that right apparently jack's the only one that's going to catch any fish today get some groceries right off the bat that is correct speed is key with groceries And just for the hooks, little little tiny uh, little tiny circle hooks, little tiny J hooks, whatever you prefer. Something pretty stout. Triggerfish can bite through hooks pretty easily, and you can't have them too big because obviously you saw before they have really really tiny mouths and they're uh, really hard mouths. You know, that's their beaks. So something that can fit inside of there and something that's you know strong. And we got a nice pokey boy. You will ruin your day. Oh really? Yeah. Sure. Is it the gill point? Well, it's poisonous too. They ain't poisonous. They just yeah, shoot. They no, they're not. That's what we tell people. <laughs> That's a good deterrent. I'm gonna pick that one up. You don't want customers to do touch fish. It's poisonous. Don't touch it. They don't know. That's a really good point. Ab abusing your charter exactly. power. Abusing your power, Cole. Buttons are poisonous too. <laughs> they get home with us. Black spot, eat not. <laughs> you know, back in the day in New York, uh, have you ever heard of Frank Mundus? He's the guy that like, the, the, he's the reason why Jaws became a movie. Really? He like, his thing up in New, off of Montauk was catching great whites, and they used to tell customers that uh, cobia were too slimy to taste good, and they would keep them for cat food, and they would they would keep all the yeah, and the cobia fishing's nuts up there, but that's what they used to do. That's a that's a page out of the Frank Mundus book right there. They're too slimy. You don't want them, slimy boys. They bark the shark. Yeah. Tide picked up. So did the fishing boys. Trigger fish confirmed biting. We got doubles, we got singles, we got studs. We got them on now. Oh yes, sir. That's a hubcap right there, son. Sure Dude, some hubcap, gravestone, whatever you want to call it. It's big. Trash can lid. Yeah, All the above. Just video. missed it. Joe VT got sharked. I got sharked. Where'd your mutton go? It's in the. It's inside of a it's shark. It's in now. a shark. Oh. Inside oh. Of <laughs> Slap chewing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Chewing in the current, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Get on Double head out. Woo! That's how I do it. Double dinner plate. Oh, yes. World class trigger fish right there, son. Look at that. He might not even fit in the basket. I didn't know they got that big. I don't think I should have given you the rod. <laughs> you took Jack's lucky rod? Yeah. Oh, no. Got one more. Oh, I bit that hook. Big trigger. Oh, it's a mutton. Hell yeah. Oh my god, look at the size of that trigger fish. Wow. <laughs> How do you pick the one? Oh, I thought it was a gray. Dude, that's a cool Dang it. False mutton. False mutton. Wow. You let him eat it too. Oh, he choked it. I need to get a picture of that too. He's going back, dang it. False muck. For some reason, this, the state of Florida decided <laughs> that they are classified as aquarium fish and cannot be kept if they are dead or over four inches, which is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. But nonetheless, very pretty, very cool, very fun. On fire. Just a bite, just a bite of fish, folks. They are hungry. Oh yeah. Oh, they're jumping. We got a jumper. He thinks he's a sailfish. Nicely done. Come on. Jack does it again. I got you. Sweet out of Nicely done, sir. 22 is a bad one. So, just count one to the bottom. Yes, sir. Fish on. Oh, triples? What? Quads? There you go. Be careful not to flip them off. Is everybody hooked up right now? <laughs> everybody with a line in the water has a fish on right now. That's kind of crazy. Oh, never mind. We like it. First, I'm, I'm keeping it in. Look at that cutie right there. Only black bellies on the real dream. Yep. 
throwback. All right, little change of plans here. So that last spot we got uh, ended up with uh, like 25 or almost 30 trigger fish. However, they were so uh, voracious, so vicious that we could not get uh, any kind of live bait. So right now we're catching grunts to put the live ball to try to catch some bigger stuff. Bait gets kind of iffy this time of year. Uh, sometimes it completely disappears in this cold water. So this is kind of what you have to do sometimes if you do want to fish with live bait. And so we're bait fishing this spot right now. We're just drifting and we're going to go to another spot to catch some muttons and maybe some grouper um, in a little bit. Our bait stop turned into that plus some bait. Can't even catch bait. I know. The trigger nothing, fish are too Nothing thick. but trigger fish. And I got, I uh, dropped down a big bait. And hopefully we got a mud print. I have a weird feeling this might not be, it might be a snapper, it might be the wrong shade. I think it might be. Better it's another queen. Oh, you got that shot. Oh, you know what? Oh. Red one? Dick, no. It is the wrong one. Oh, I need red snapper. Long leader. My favorite species. Little old man. Yep. Nice snap. Nice. Oh, world like class. Wow. But our paint stop has turned into a uh, triggerfish stop. Half a basket, real quick. That's all right. That's all right. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Drop it back. All right, live off full of grunts. Here we are. Come on, come on, fish. Oh, my. That looks good. Yeah, it is. Nice. 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 work. Yeah. Woo. Do what the mix is. God. Oh, yeah. Yep. How, how, how about that? You do what the mates tell you to do. You follow directions, and good things will happen to you. Never thought I'd see the day. I just made him eat that. Yeah, I did. He ate it. I'll let him go a long way. Yeah, you let him swim halfway to Georgia. Yeah. I want to do that. Oh, it's fun. Take it. Take it. Take it. Picking at it. All right, he's got it. Oh. Oh, oh. This is how professional professional fishermen professionally lazy. Professional <laughs> <laughs> Fishing in the shade, man. I know. Nice. Mm -hmm. A little cold over here. A little, a little chilly. chilly. Yeah. <laughs> Get you new one, man. They're marking great. They are marking. They are marking good meat. We marking. I know. Yeah. I'm sorry for another relative to Jack. Wouldn't be surprised if it's an Alamoco. Keep the weight ahead of the bait off of the Oh! Dang it! Oh well. Amber Jack. Jack, man. Yeah, come on now. Woo! That's him. I Nice mutton. Yeah, y'all. Oh, red one. Get out of town. Guess who's on again, guys? Could you imagine that? You got it. Come on. Old hot rod go. over here. Keep on purchasing. There you go. First slime more line. There you go. <laughs> Hell yeah. There you go. That's how you do it. Come on. There you go. Uh oh. Oh, buddy. There you go. Go, 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 go. 
Red devils. <laughs> mm. well, Unfortunate. That's a big old melting big one. Big old red snapper, but it's the wrong kind. Now what we're after. <laughs> after an unbelievable day of fishing, with not exactly the result we wanted with the muttons and groupers, but we set a boat record for Adam for the most trigger fish he's ever caught in a single trip. So we packed it in, head back to St. Augustine, got a beautiful sunset on the right end, and got to work on cleaning an unbelievable amount of triggers. <laughs> We're gonna need some real sharp knives. <laughs> Alrighty, gang, here we go. Sorry about the weird lighting. Uh, dark, don't have lighting out here, but uh, they're gonna go grab some right now. But I gotta get back to Jacksonville. Uh, trigger fish. Uh, one of the more difficult fish to fillet if you don't know how to do it. I always go in upside down. So I insert through here and toggle all the way through and then pull up because if you try to saw through the skin, you're just going to destroy your knife. Um, even more, they are trigger fish, you're still going to have some issues. But what I like to do is insert right through here and see how easy that is to cut underneath through the skin. And just go kind of outline them on the top right here. hardly feel my it's pretty cold if you couldn't tell i got all my cold gear back on drops quick temperature drops quick whenever the sun goes down but you just it's after this is actually pretty easy it's a, a pretty forgiving backbone you can really angle down hard kind of go all the way through then one thing i do to just attach i guess the uh the spine from the head i just kind of put it right there kind of wedge my knife in there and just pop it off just like that boom Cut right there. Easy enough. Skin away. Did I just go too far? Issues with two sharp knives. It goes through the skin. Just like that. Go around. This right here. It is pretty tough. The uh, uh, pin bones on this. And you always want to make sure you just cut them out while you're doing this. They do have some pretty gnarly pin bones. But that right there is the easiest way to fillet a not so easy fish and uh also one of the best tasting fish in the ocean ask anybody who's ever had trigger fish even people that i know that um don't eat fish they will eat trigger fish just because it has kind of like a, it has a different texture it's very firm um and uh it's just really good it has more of like a chicken taste i suppose but it is phenomenal and uh i'm very excited because i haven't had trigger fish in a very 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 long time so i will see you guys in the kitchen Alrighty gang, stepping up the fishing, stepping up the fishing, stepping up the cooking a little bit. We're gonna do some uh, lightly pan fried uh, trigger fish tacos. So I got them cut up in little skinny sections to fit in a small shell. Going to egg wash them, obviously I haven't stirred that up yet. Put it in flour, gonna put a little bit of Cajun seasoning in here just to give a little more zang. Uh, vegetable oil in pan, cook it with that. Then we're going to uh, do the shells in the pan as well with the vegetable oil and then garnish it and it's gonna be really good. I'm very excited to eat trigger fish. Very excited. And while we're waiting, I'm going to uh, make our little sauce right here. I'm a big fan of uh, like spicy ranch or chipotle ranch on these tacos. They go well with surf and turf. Um, all I have is hot sauce. I would much rather put like a sriracha in there, um, but just gonna mix it with this, give it a little bit of zang. It'll be really good. I really like the, uh, the creamy and the hot mixture. How you get with the spiciness in tacos especially give it a little bit of flavorful heat i don't like too much heat i think it kind of ruins stuff sometimes um if it's too spicy a lot of people will very very angrily argue that the more heat the better i'm not a heat guy i'm sorry i haven't been in louisiana long enough to really really enjoy the heat but i'm just going to keep on adding to taste see how i like it gonna add some old bay pretty good amount mix that around Might add a little bit more a 
a little bit of vegetable oil in the pan. We're gonna egg wash them, drop them in. This is gonna be really, really good. I like I said, I haven't eaten trigger fish in so long. Um, it's it's every time I do it. Every time I eat trigger fish, I'm like, gosh, I really wish I could eat this more. A little bit of light batter. I just cut them thin just so it like would fit on the taco better. A little baby shell. Sweet. We're gonna wait till she's a little bit golden on the bottom of the flip. I think that's good enough for now. I might give her another uh, second on the other side. Oh no, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Oh yeah. This piece is about done. This piece is not about done. It's a little bit thicker. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Right there. Perfect on the brown. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. All right. Should be about done. The small piece is definitely all done. We'll let the sticker, you stick a few pieces sit for a little bit. I'm going to pat those off and then, uh, well, I'm going to cook the rest of it, but then I'm going to pat these off. Really get all the grease off them, make it a super light, I mean, a healthier kind of fried. Then we're going to do the shells, then we're going to decorate them, and then we're going to eat them in that order. Alrighty, now for the shells. Try the same pan, a couple seconds on each side. Might be a little bit too much grease in there. We got a couple of greasy ones and a couple of not greasy ones. Ooh, gosh. This one's gonna be real greasy. <laughs> Pop the bubbles as they come up. Just get a little bit of gold on them. That'll be good. All right, now we garnish. Okay, and we're building, folks. Shell, two, three pieces of fish. It really worked out. I think these light, these um, skinnier cut ones are gonna do a lot better. The tacos. I like cherry tomatoes. Slice them up, put them on there. Am I gonna put cheese on this? No, I'm not a monster. You are a monster. If you think that cheese should go with uh, with fish, it does not. Sorry about. It. Sorry about it. Uh, I know there's some. I know there's some people sounding off the comments once again about why that isn't true. A little bit of avocado. Never hurt nobody. Boom. And a little bit of spicy ranch to finish her off. This is shredded cabbage, by the way, just like coleslaw cabbage. Yeah, I, got, I, got, I like the actual like coleslaw stuff where it has carrots in it too. It has a little bit more color, a little bit more flavor, uh, but I just got shredded cabbage this time. Keeping things simple. I don't know about you. That looks pretty good. Also smells really good. Triggerfish tacos. Mmm. I'll tell you what. There is not a food that's much better than fresh fish tacos, especially with a fish as good as trigger fish. My goodness. Mmm. Man. I tell you what. If you guys ever see trigger fish on a menu at a restaurant, I would get it. It's just so good. I'm going to eat this whole thing on camera. I don't want to put it down. Mm, 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 mm. Today is um, New Year's Eve, so Happy New Year's to all of you people. I uh, hope you have a good, safe evening. We will wish you the best of luck this year. What else? Oh yeah, um, more bottom fishing content coming up. I'm fishing with Johnny tomorrow and the next day doing an overnight trip. So that'll be fun. So we're going to do muttons, groupers. Well, I guess not groupers because it's January 1st. Um, we might have to catch and release some groupers, but um, it's gonna be really fun. 
Those overnight trips are really good. So the benefit of fishing at night when these triggerfish are so fired up is triggerfish actually sleep. They use their uh, big pokey thing and then they have a really sharp and, and tough uh, anal spine and they literally pin themselves in rocks and sleep. So uh, them being too fired up won't be an issue and everything else is probably eating at night just because they're not wanting to deal with the triggerfish. So hopefully that's the case. But well, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, please subscribe. And I love y'all. See y'all next time.